What's going on guys? This is David here. The date was September 30th, 2015. I was 8.4.1 had just been killed off by Apple and was no longer being signed. But there was one thing that Apple forgot about. Although they stopped signing it, they are still signing it today through OTA updates for 32-bit devices. Tim Starr has just announced that he is dropping an iOS 8.4.1 untethered jailbreak for all 32-bit devices. But I'm on 9.3.5. How? When ETA? I hear you typing in the comments. I know some of you are saying that. But, but, all hope is not lost. Today, I'm going to show you guys a quick and easy method to downgrade from 9.3.5 jailbroken to 8.4.1 so you can take advantage of this brand new fully untethered jailbreak. Although this is the quickest and the easiest method of doing this, if your latest version on your device is not 9.3.5, I do not recommend doing this. Do not attempt to do this if you are not on 9.3.5 as your latest iOS version. iOS 9.3.5 already has a jailbreak out. However, if you're on versions such as iOS 10 or above, you may not be so lucky, for 32-bit anyway. If you really want to do this and you have one of those devices that is capable of this but their latest version is not 9.3.5 such as the iPhone 5 or the iPhone 5C, down below in the description is a separate tutorial made by a different YouTuber named Billy Ellis. He makes some really good content similar to mine so definitely feel free to check him out and subscribe to him because he makes some really good content. But I definitely would say watch his video if you want to know how to actually do that. Before we start the video, I do just want to mention that you need to be on iOS 9.3.5 already jailbroken in order to actually do this. If you are on 9.3.5 already and have yet to jailbreak, please feel free to go down below in the description and check out the tutorial that I made on how to jailbreak. But all right guys, the first thing you have to do is go and install iFile. Open up Cydia and search for iFile, go ahead and install it, and then we can continue with the rest of the process. So now I'm just going to search for iFile. Now we're just gonna go ahead and install it, but I already have it installed, so we're going to just back out and go into iFile. Now what we wanna do is we wanna navigate all the way to System, Library, Core Services, and then once you're in Core Services, go all the way down until you see systemversion.plist. Once you see that, you can go ahead and tap on it and select Text Viewer. Make sure you listen and pay attention to this next part because it is crucial. If you have the wrong build number and the wrong iOS version here, you could boot loop your device, so just keep that in mind. So where it says 9.3.5, we are going to change it to 6.0, 6.0. Make sure you have the 6.0 and you don't just put 6 because that is crucial It's you know to make sure that it's exact and where you see 13G and all that, just delete that. And now we are going to put the build number for iOS 6.0. And the reason why we're actually doing this, the logic behind it is we are tricking the device and Apple servers into thinking that we have a device on iOS 6.0, when in reality it's not, it's on 9.3.5. And because it thinks it's on 6.0, instead of all the way going up to 9.3.5 first it stops at 8.4.1 and asks us to download that so that's the reason why that works but you guys can see it says 10a406 and there is a separate build number for cellular iPads as well and if for whatever reason you need a completely different build number there's going to be a link in the description to find build numbers it's a website that is kind of interesting you could get IPSW's from it um, but anyway, now once we actually save that, we're just going to reboot the device. And upon reboot, if you actually try to open up Phoenix, it will open, but it will not let you continue on with the jailbreak process. So you'll be stuck in this limbo stock state that you won't actually be able to get out of if you did actually screw this up. So just keep that in mind. 
if you're on a version like 9.3.5 that already has a jailbreak and that's the latest version and you're trying this, then it won't mess anything up. But if everything's working the way it should, then we should see a progress bar below the Apple logo and that should continue with the boot process. And then once the device boots up, we should see the lock screen. All right, so now we're back up at the lock screen. We can just slide to unlock and we can swipe over. You guys can see the city is still there. Phoenix is still there. We're still jailbroken on 9.3.5. However, if we actually go into settings, general and about, you guys will be able to see that the iPad thinks that it's on 6.0. It says under system version 6.0. And if we go into settings, general, and software update, eventually, if we wait long enough, we should see iOS 8.4.1 pop up. So there it is, iOS 8.4.1. We can go ahead and press download and install, and we can agree to the terms and conditions. And then once we do that, it should say update requested, and then we should see that it actually starts downloading the update and preparing us to update or downgrade to iOS 8.4.1. Here we go guys. So it is pretty much just finishing up right now. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. So it's just finishing up, preparing update. And it says software update iOS 8.4.1 will begin installing and then verifying update. And once we go through this, it should reboot. And then we should be back to the Apple logo with a progress bar. So don't get like really confused or discouraged if you see that it's taking a super long time. Expect it to. Essentially what you're doing is you're replacing all the iOS 9 files on your device with all the iOS 8 files. So it is going to take a little bit of time to actually do that. So I did speed this up a lot, so it's actually not taking too, too long for me. It's progressing pretty far along, but that is only because I sped it up. So just keep that in mind that it probably will take a long time to actually finish up for you. And it's nothing to be worried about, nothing to be concerned about. All right, so the iPad is greeting us, so we are going to just slide to set up here, and it says update completed, your iPad was updated successfully, there are just a few more steps to follow, and then you're done. So all we have to do now is just go ahead and tap on continue, and it's going to ask for a Wi-Fi network. Remember, you just pretty much restored uh, to this firmware, so I went through the setup process, and here I am. You guys can see that message that said spotlight has moved, and that proves that we're on iOS 8 with that message and also the alert style. And if I go into settings and wallpapers and then go here, you guys can see we have the iOS 8 wallpapers here in the settings application. So that is one of the ways that you know that we are on iOS 8.4.1. According to Tim Starr's video, if you actually pause the video during where he's on the website where the jailbreak will be hosted on, it does say that the IPA was uploaded on September 19th. So we have a timeline of release for this jailbreak. Hopefully it should be coming out September 19th. Funny enough, that's the same release date as iOS 11. I don't know, well, that doesn't really, you know, matter. I just thought it was cool. All right, guys, that pretty much does it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, until next time, this is David signing out. Peace. When, what, when ETA? ETA soon.